Okay, so this is our new project. We are going to be making a surrealist collage. Um, and so we're going to learn a little bit more about surrealism. Not in this video. We're going to do other stuff. Um, so just briefly, this definition that's on the screen here is that it's an art movement. It was also a literature movement. And it was about paying attention to what was happening in your unconscious mind, meaning in your dreams. Um, as opposed to just showing what was around you. This happened be in response to the invention of the camera. So artists had to figure out, well, if my job isn't to represent the world around me, um, if the camera can do that faster and with more detail, then what is my role? So the surrealist believes, well, we can't capture dreams with a camera, so maybe that's what the subject of art should be. Um, a collage, you've probably done one before in the past, it just means you're pasting things together, um, either with glue or in our case, we're going to be doing a digital collage to combine different works together. So we're going to look at some artist examples. These are some surreal collages. You can see they're playing around with the size of things. They're still layering things. There's still some natural order to it. So it's something that if you saw it in a dream, might not trigger you to be like, well, that's weird. But as soon as you woke up, you'd be like, Mm, hey, wait. Uh, we have some student examples. When I first started teaching this project, we did this in paper with actually magazines cutting pictures out. Um, again, you know, like in this one, the people were not sitting on the sofas, the dog was not laying on the pillow. Um, as years went on, we moved away from the cut magazine because it was hard to find the pictures and the size that we want. We wanted a little more control. So we started making digital collages. And that's when we were able to start making these hybrid animals. So you are going to be responsible for making a hybrid animal. Um, the main focus of this one was the sheep's horns, the bear face, the turtle body, and the duck feet. So the idea of combining the different features of different animals to make your own new hybrid creature. Um, this one over here is a vulture weasel with battery pack. And again, this is something like a shark does not live in a mountain stream. So this is sort of a surreal element of throwing something in there that wouldn't normally exist there. But almost makes sense. If you were asleep, you might think that it actually meant, made sense. Um, here again, we have our lovely, I believe it was a dog, cat, pig, butterfly. Um, and there are things that have been added to the background to increase that sense of a, a strange place or a familiar with the images, but not quite where they actually are. Um, that juxtaposition that we mentioned in that, well, I don't, I don't know if I didn't mention it, but it was in the definition. Juxtaposition means you're putting two different objects next to each other and it creates a new meaning. Um, one last student example here. We have a wolf panther. I'm not sure what kind of bird this was. Um, and I put the Taj Mahal next to an office building, and there is a spaceship flying around. I believe that's sad Jupiter? I think the spot means it's Jupiter. I'm going to go with Jupiter. Um, the other really important thing to see in this one is, like, how it's cut out. There's not a lot of excess pictures. Like, you see a little bit of what the sky used to be behind here, but mostly they've cut very well around this image to make it really look like it could possibly be sitting there. The general steps that you're going to do is you have to pick a background. So you're going to pick a location for this all to be happening in. You are going to make your hybrid animal that has to have at least three different pieces. And then you're going to add two other objects to your background to give it that dreamlike quality. Um, for surrealist background images, it's that juxtaposition can be your friend so much. So this idea of two things that don't actually go together, you know, this is a bulldozer on sand, but as soon as you put it on top, this color being similar makes the two things look like they're united. Um, you know, the peeling the banana that matches the car, you know, skiing off of the ice cream cone, the corn coming out of a banana peel. Those are all so close, like the shape or the color is really similar and familiar, but then it just kind of goes off the rails at the last second. And you're like, wait, corn doesn't list, exist like that. When you are cutting out your images, like I mentioned, you want to cut with the contours and not keep all this background stuff. So if we are looking at the epic Bill Murray here, you want to cut Bill Murray out so it's just Bill Murray. You don't want all this extra stuff kind of going around him because your collage won't look like it's actually together if you have all those extra pixels. 
Uh, you want to pay attention to overlapping. You want to try changes in sizes to create a sense of depth. Things that are farther away are going to be smaller. Things that are bigger look like they're larger. Uh, or things that are closer look like they're larger. Sorry, that was the same thing. Uh, you don't really want to have too many straight edges. They don't look very natural. So when you're cutting out your images, you want to go with the curve of your images. You don't want to make these arbitrary straight lines. Um, you can also lower the opacity, and I will have a video that shows you how to do that to kind of smooth out that change between two photos. Uh, and now we're going to look at some of the animals. This is the part that everybody really likes. Uh, we, you guys have to use three different animals. These visual, video, woo. these visuals are going to show you two different animals. So you can use this as a foundation, but you would have to add extra stuff to it. And no, you cannot use this specific image or an image somebody else already put together. You have to put three of your own separate pictures together. Um, so the first one we have is a gerbil lion. We also have an orca penguin. There's a dinosaur seahorse. I will warn you that dinosaurs, we don't have photos of them, so it's particularly difficult to do this. This was like an artist illustrating the dinosaur part because we don't have photos of them. So just caution if you're going to try dinosaurs because if you're using an illustration versus a photo, they're not going to blend together as well. Uh, we have a snow owl leopard. We have a horse otter, an elephant butterfly. Again, using the shapes that are similar to make them look united. Here we have a pug chimpanzee using the coloring to make it look united. This one here is a fox squirrel. So they actually changed the color of the squirrel. And again, I will get into uh, demo videos that show you how to do that. We have a cat elephant. We have a, or I think it's a chimpanzee panda. A koala owl. A, I believe this is a crocodile bear. I'm trying to judge by the teeth. It might be an alligator bear. We have a horse parakeet. A pug bunny. A husky penguin. A chameleon elephant, and again, this repetition to make things look united. A duck turtle. A turtle bulldog. A panther pug. A horse chipmunk. A manatee bird. A baby pug penguin. A chimpanzee lion. And a lion bee. So you guys will have to come up with your own animal to use in your work. Yeah, and that's about it.